Hey everyone, this is Ken and today we're going to be doing a grill style dual furnace system. Now as you can see we have this nice little carpet spot on top because that's going to represent the grill itself. You could toss your food right on top, you could cook it, and it'll still come in one of these chests. Now what's great about this, this is perfect for survivor mode and very easy to make. So let me show you how this works. You're going to place your coal in this chest on the right. Perfect. And all you have to do is go up to the grill itself and whatever you want to cook, you're going to toss it right on top of it. As if it was a real kitchen. Just toss your food right on top. Once you've done that, you just toss about 10 steaks and all 10 is going to appear right in this chest. And like I was saying, you know, this is a different style of cooking and you could really design this in survivor mode. I mean, it's super resource friendly and it doesn't take a lot of materials. And as you can see, we got all 10 steaks in that chest, which is great. It's exactly what we want. So the cool thing is the rest on behind it, like I was saying, is really not that complicated. And you can really keep this discreet. I mean, as you can see behind, right underneath, I mean, it's not that much. I mean, we got one comparator, two repeaters, three redstone dust, and three redstone torch, and that's the bulk of it. That's pretty much it. And it kind of gives a different feel to it. I like this. So let's get down to the materials we're going to use for this build. They're pretty simple. You're going to need a block of your choice, two furnaces, a large chest, large trap chest, a few droppers, a few hoppers, redstone dust, we rest on torch, a repeater, and the comparator. Now make sure you have the same exact layout before we even start the build. This is very important. So feel free to pause, have the setup, and once you're ready, what I want you to do is go straight to the front part of this, and you're going to place one dropper right there. Then you're going to place a hopper behind it and two hoppers going towards it. Then place two furnaces right on top, and you're going to extend this and add two more droppers right on top. Perfect. Then right in front of that furnace, you're going to place two hoppers in each one. So one there and two right there. Then you're going to place two hoppers on top of that, and two hoppers going straight down towards the furnace. Perfect. Then you're going to place one comparator going forward, a block in front of it, a torch on the side of it, a block right on top, a torch right in front of that, a block on top, and then add one more torch facing the droppers. Perfect. Then you're going to add one repeater going forward with a block in front of it. Now this is very important. Make sure that repeater is on two ticks. Then you're going to add one repeater going towards that dropper and rest on dust right across. Perfect, and that's pretty much it. You're all done. Now at this point, we just got to cover up a few sections. You're going to cover that little hole up because you don't want nothing going inside. And if you want, you can even cover the rest on dust itself. Just to make it a little more discreet. Awesome. Now at this point, I want you to get your trap chest, and you're going to place it right on top of the hoppers in the back. Make sure it's a large chest. And you're also going to get a large chest, or even a small one, whatever you feel is best, and you're going to place it right on top. Perfect. Now at this point, we're going to really design this and kind of add some trimmings, but you don't have to do it this way. You can really go any which way you want. So what I've added here was a crafting table and a cold room some water inside. Considering it's the kitchen, you kind of want to create that kind of feel to it. Then I added some trimmings on the side, just to create a nice little frame. Perfect. Let's add some blocks on the other side. Then what I like to do is add some stairs upside down or right across. It kind of gives it really nice detail to the whole thing. Now if you want also, add some blocks behind it just to cover up the back part so you don't see anything behind it. 
kind of looks a little more discreet. Now another cool thing to add is some carpet right on top of these hoppers because you want to make it look like the grill so when you toss the food on top it cooks right away. And there you have it guys you can really design this any which way you want. I want to thank everybody for watching remember to please leave a comment and subscribe. Thank you.